about fundraising. Um, for the ones that just raised recently, for example, Portugal Ventures and are looking to the future, basically, uh, you know, it, it gets tougher and tougher. Um, so you have to prove and prove more to be able to, to successfully raise uh, further rounds. Um, I, I usually say, and it's not, these are not my words, this, that fundraising is a no game. So you'll take no, 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 until you get a yes. And um, you should be really aware of this uh, simply because you need to, to keep on being very, very positive, very, very confident, because if you're not, you're not confident, that will show and for sure you won't raise your round. So th this would be my first advice for everyone. Uh, the other thing is that if you want to raise outside your first market, you always need to think international from day one. Uh, another thing that I should also stress is that from the start, we knew that coming from a small market such as Portugal, in fact, we would need to uh, make a larger effort to show that we can sell. So. Uh, selling should be your mindset from the minus one um, uh, and sell whatever you can, right? Sometimes you, you're also experimenting with business models and that was very much our case. But you don't sell, uh, you always learn uh, uh, in between. So you will have time to refine your sales processes, your sales pitch, whatever you sell, even your product. But without sales, you won't, it, it will be much much more difficult and I, I really think that especially right now where you know maybe VCs are looking for more um, for companies who are uh, more healthy. I was closing our last round so uh, August last year already with um, um, a VC from Luxembourg it was really really uh, difficult um, it was a long process um, also I can you know, tell you what uh, I know now that was against us at the time. Uh, uh, even though we were showing good metrics, we, we were already selling. Um, so that you better understand what TonicApp does. TonicApp is a mobile platform uh, that aggregates and curates the best professional resources to help medical doctors on their day to day. So basically, this means that we are a B2C business. So we need to acquire medical doctors for our platform. And TonicApp sells B2B independently. So no, we're not B2C to B. We are B2C and B2B. And B, uh, TonicApp monetizing by, um, monetizes by allowing other healthcare partners to publish resources for the medical doctors on the, the, the platform uh, that is used by them. Um, so what was against us, as you already uh, understood, is that we have a complex product. Also, what uh, is very difficult to sell to investors is that we, we were, not, not now anymore, but we were only a mobile app. So many investors, as soon as they hear app, they go, oh. so now we are multi-platform, but at the time we were just a mobile app. Um, complex product, complex business model, uh, a business model that was not enough to, you know, to see how we could scale uh, in, in, in some time, in, in some years. Now we, we can do that, but then we couldn't. Also, we were a digital health, right? Uh, so digital health, now it's really super cool, but I guarantee you last year it wasn't. Uh, also, there are a few VCs who actually understand the vertical. So instead of having, you know, hundreds of VCs across Europe or the world or, or thousands, we only have a very, very few actually. Uh, and we were managing a portfolio of around 70 investors when we were raising last year. But uh, very, very few really understood us at, at, at first. So the key factor for us to raise was that we were actually talking to investors from, for a long time. And actually, Vesalus Bia Capital, who was the first uh, investor to put the term sheet forward, uh, knew Tony Cap since 2016, since the time that we raised with Portugal Ventures. And so they, have, they, they were able to follow up all our progresses and see how we progress from, from a simple communication app to a multi-tool app 
to being able to, to uh, become international and to acquire several um, multinational corporate clients. Uh, I think that was uh, fundamentally what um, made us succeed. Um, so talking a little bit about, um, uh, Talking a little bit about not just the challenges, but what helped us through this process, besides uh, what I just mentioned of uh, having, you know, uh, being able to talk with investors for a long time. Um, another thing that I really uh, think uh, back and I think as positive was like the strength that other entrepreneurs gave me. So also my investors, of course. But especially uh, um, our own peers, my, my own peers were really important to keep, uh, to keep me up, to introduce me to other investors, you know, to uh, also, uh, um, you know, uh, make me see that the process is not easy, um, supporting me in reviewing what we were communicating, et cetera, et cetera. Another point that sometimes we kind of forget is that Sometimes it's like what we're you're communicating is not really perfect. So you really need to um, own your pitch, but this means that you really need to own it. So the story needs to be like in yourself so you can tell it many, many times and, and come across as very um, positive and confident. And that's actually not easy. And, that's, and it's an iterative process. So you, 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 you have plenty of stories throughout your, your own. So 